In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can track your vehicle at a very affordable price with one of these. My beautiful girlfriend Chloe bought me this AirTag for Christmas last year after I said I wanted one. We also talked about it on the podcast on episode number five. Uh, make sure you check that out. And it's just a way of adding a little bit more security to your pride and joy. Now, there are many ways to deter someone from stealing your vehicle. You could buy some apparatus for the steering wheel, a big yellow metal thing, or something to cover the e-brake and attach it to somewhere else, or a big triangle for your wheel, or you can take it to extreme levels. Or you could just simply buy one of these stickers that says, this, this vehicle is fitted with a tracking device, or something like that. Other forms of security are tracking. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't have a lot of money full stop, let alone to spend on, you know, expensive trackers, ones that you have to buy SIM cards for, ones that have a monthly payment. I mean, we're already paying for Netflix, Amazon, Apple Music, Spotify, all these outgoings, rent, bills, energy, everything. This is already too many outgoings at the moment anyway. So this is a very ideal solution to someone like me who is broke and can't really afford an expensive tracker. But this, this is a form of tracking. Now the Apple AirTag probably wasn't necessarily designed to track cars and vehicles. No, these were probably designed to fit on a keychain uh, and put on your set of keys. Now, Apple do make little AirTag holders for key rings and other things like that. Obviously, they come with a price as expected with Apple, but the Apple AirTag was designed to be put on your set of keys or in a backpack or something else that you might lose. An idea that I came up with was strapping this to a drone. So if you ever lose your drone, it's another tracking device to hopefully find your drone. Now, let's, let's talk about how this works. So I'm on the Apple website and this is how they explain it. Your AirTag sends out a secure Bluetooth signal that can be detected by nearby devices in the Find My Network. These devices send the location of your AirTag to iCloud. Then you can go to the Find My app and see it on a map. The whole process is anonymous and encrypted to protect your privacy. And it's efficient, so there's no need to worry about battery life or data use. Well, they've got that right. You do not need to worry about data usage, but this does have a battery life of about one year. Now, you can simply replace the battery by twisting, pressing down and twisting on this back plate here, which opens up like so, and then you get a little battery here that you can replace in a year's time. And then to put it back, you simply press down and twist. Easy. Apple then go on to say that privacy is built in. Only you can see where your AirTag is, your location data and history are never stored on the AirTag itself. Devices that relay the location of your AirTag also stay anonymous and that location data is encrypted every step of the way. So not even Apple knows the location of your AirTag or the identity of the device that helps find it. So anybody that has an AirTag and wants to use it to track their vehicle, should someone steal it one day, you should find an area on your vehicle where you can shove it and no one's gonna find it. You could put it underneath the carpet, inside the stitching of the, the seats. You could put it somewhere taped right in the crevices of your dash. Uh, just somewhere where no one can quickly find it. Don't put it in the glove box. 
don't put it on the dashboard or in a little cubby hole. Just really, really hide this in a secure location. So to my understanding, how this works is you hide this in your vehicle. Let's say your vehicle gets stolen. You go onto your iPhone, you go to the Find My app, and then you can find where the last location of the AirTag or vehicle, wherever you've put this AirTag, you can find out where that location is or was, and it will give you a certain amount of time to when it was last connected to another device. Now, if someone has stolen your vehicle with an iPhone, it will tell you a live location if they're still in it. If they have parked your vehicle somewhere on the side of a street or somewhere else, all it takes is for someone else with another iPhone to walk past the vehicle and it will pick up this device and ping the location to your phone. That is my understanding of it. Now, when it comes to Android users, I'm not 100% sure that if an Android phone walked past this, I don't know if it would sense the Bluetoothness and then ping that location to your phone. I don't know, it's a little bit spotty, but I do know that if someone did find this and they wanted to return it to you, they could hold up their phone to the AirTag and the information would come up on their phone and it works the same way with an Android phone. If an Android phone found this AirTag, they could just boop and then they could notify you of the location, they can get in touch. All the information is on Apple's website, make sure you check it out. Like I said, you can attach this to your keys. If you're someone who loses your keys quite a lot, you can put this on there and you can play a sound from your phone, which sounds like this. Which is pretty incredible because there's no sign of a speaker on here at all and that's pretty loud. Now the Apple AirTag does have a lost mode. And when you enable the lost mode, it then alerts your phone when your AirTag has been found. It also should alert the finder a little custom message that you can put your phone number or email address in for them to contact you to arrange for you to pick up your AirTag or whatever the AirTag is attached to. In this case, it would be a truck. So the Apple AirTag does act like a tracker should do, providing that whoever's stolen your AirTag uses an iPhone as well. But remember, if someone else walks past your AirTag with an iPhone, it will connect to their phone via Bluetooth and ping the location to your phone. Now let's talk about the negative things. So let's get serious a bit. Okay, so. The thing that some people have noticed with the AirTags is if you go to a car show and you leave your car unlocked or you leave the windows down, someone can place their own AirTag in your vehicle. They can then follow their AirTag, which will follow you all the way home. And then they could plan to steal your vehicle once they know your home location. That has actually happened, unfortunately. Now, Apple have rectified the situation. So let's say we've got a scenario. Let's say we've got me driving my truck home from a car show, and let's say someone called Sam has put an air tag in my truck without me knowing, and Sam plans to steal my truck when he finds out where I live. So what happens is, my phone recognizes that there is a foreign air tag, meaning an air tag that does not belong to me. My phone will recognize this object and it will notify me and basically just say, hey, there is an air tag that has been on your person following you and been around you for the last five to 10 minutes or whatever it may be. Is this yours sort of thing? So your phone will actually let you know if someone has put an air tag on your person or in your vehicle, which I thought was very, very cool. I don't know if having an iPhone or an Android in that situation would make a difference. Knowing Apple, I'd have to have an iPhone for that technology to work. The other thing that I'm not 100% sure on is, let's say this was in my truck, someone stole my truck, I'm not sure if this would or wouldn't ping off a sound knowing that I'm not in the truck with my phone that this is connected to. 
So that's one thing I really don't know. If someone else does know, let me know in the comments below. So I did a tiny experiment with this the other day. I put this in the truck, drove to work, parked a little bit further away from my job, uh, and then went to work and looked at my phone and every now and then I checked to see on the maps where this was. Of course, it was parked where I left it this, the whole day, but it did update me with its current location. So I'd look on my phone and it would say, oh, the rabbit pickup truck is here five minutes ago. And then like two hours later, I would check again and it'd say, oh, the rabbit pickup was here two minutes ago. So, which makes me think that people have walked past my truck and this has then picked up their Bluetooth device and it has sent me the truck's location. I know some of this may seem confusing. Hopefully, this will all make sense. So, should you use an Apple AirTag to track your vehicle? I think it's a good idea. I think it's very affordable. I think they're very, very small. Easy to replace the battery, of course. And it does give you that peace of mind that you can look on your phone to give your truck's last location should someone walk past it. I think that's really good. But if you do have the money to spend on a better, more reliable vehicle tracker, I would do that. If you've got a vehicle that is your prized possession, I would strongly recommend investing in a proper vehicle tracker. But if you're on a budget like me, this is perfect. Now, the other thing to take notice of is these are water resistant. So if you did put these on a keychain, and let's say you dropped your keys in a puddle or in the sea, these are somewhat waterproof. You probably could upgrade the Apple AirTag keychain to a more waterproof housing, in which case it would be 100% waterproof. Now, if you're someone like me and you have an iPhone that is older than the iPhone 11, when you use the Find My app and you're trying to track down the precise location of the AirTag, then it's not going to give you a precise location. It will obviously give you the location of the AirTag, but if you have an iPhone 11, it will give you more precise direction to the AirTag within like centimeters of you finding it, which is insane. So there is that to think about. If you have an iPhone 11, the technology used to locate your AirTag will be more precise. And of course, you could go overkill and get yourself some tracking stickers to place somewhere visible inside the vehicle or outside the vehicle just to try and deter people from stealing your vehicle even more. So there we go, guys. That is the Apple AirTag, which I will leave a link to Apple's website where you can check out more information on these. As always, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button below so you get updated every time I release a brand new video. Thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Turn up the 80s, sounds of the 80s Rhapsody, the greatest say the day my mama made me 99 problems, why I don't look or sound like Jay-Z I'm lazy, one foot in a grave, my